Hi guys. Well, it is a little bit smoky out here on this, uh, what should be a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day in uh, the collapse of everything, but it's getting a little bit smoky. And it's smokier now than it was this morning, and it will be smokier tomorrow than it is now. But uh, enough talk about smoke. I want to talk about, uh, gee, I've, I've never mentioned this. I, I want to talk about humans, humans uh, being the biggest threat to life on Earth on this planet. I know I've never... Uh, had a, had this rant before, but something a little bit new has turned up. Now I find artificial intelligence, AI, uh, is asking the question, uh, what is and what has always been uh, since they showed up on the planet, the single biggest threat to life on the planet is humans and you know the, the, this never-ending controversy about megafaunal extinctions uh, whether it was humans just every time humans show up uh, in, in a new landscape where there's never been humans before uh, pretty soon all the other fellow earthlings, especially the big slow ones, uh, tend to disappear out of the fossil record as soon as humans show up. And uh, so that is called the overkill hypothesis, which I am a strong proponent of. And then you have the people, and, and even Derek Jensen, I think, is... Uh, is part of this, and certainly Graham Hancock is a huge proponent of this, is that it was climate change in general, or more specifically, I guess, with the, the megafaunal extinction that happened uh, here in what's now North America. When was that? About 13,000 years ago. It was a collision with a comet that caused that. Now, as far as the, call it the American uh, megafaunal extinction, I am more on the fence than I used to be on that one. I think uh, it is probably more of a case of both and than either or. Uh, on that particular one uh, that occurred in what is now, you know, kind of where I am sitting, uh, there is some evidence of, uh, you know, in the younger Dryas mini ice age, which may or may not have been caused by a collision with a comet, uh, there is some evidence for that and some pretty good evidence for that. And it was just a coincidence uh, that it kind of coincided with, uh, w w w w you know, with humans spreading all around Turtle Island and taking out all our fellow Earthlings. But that explanation does not explain uh, the megafaunal extinctions on every other continent on the planet as humans started migrating uh, out of out of Africa and uh, and leaving the megafauna which evolved along with humans and kind of evolved to learn how to deal with us fuckers uh, but all the other all the other continents other than North America uh, humans showed up and all of our fellow earthlings started disappearing so, uh, anyway, with all that as a lengthy segue, right here from, uh, well, yesterday's Yahoo News, coming from ABC News, I like how they qualify this, early humans likely 
likely prompted the demise of woolly mammoths and other ancient species. Uh, and, and so we're going to go way back before the, uh, the North American megafaunal extinction of a few thousand years ago. We're, we're going way back in uh, the overkill hypothesis, thanks in part to artificial intelligence. Take it away. Early humans may have played, yeah, right, police, or early humans sure as shit uh, played a significant role in the demise of one of the most iconic ancient species, the woolly mammoth and others like it, according to new research. The arrival of early primitive humans on Earth during the Pleistocene period, roughly 1.8 million years ago, caused a five-fold increase in extinction rates of proboscidean species, which this study it looks at is elephants and mammoths, basically. Proboscideans are a taxonomic order of mammals that include only one living living family, the modern elephants, and several extinct species, including the woolly mammoth, according to a paper published Wednesday in Science. So I will put the link onto this uh, mainstream media article, and it links you over to the real uh, article uh, in science with all the big 50 cent words, uh, but I'm going to uh, trust the mainstream media for some reason to uh, interpret that scientific study. Okay, that was going back 1.8 million years uh, with early primitive humans you see a five-fold increase in the extinction rates of, you know, mammoths. But once Homo sapiens, or modern humans, arrived on the planet about 129,000 years ago, I've always heard Homo sapiens got here between 200 and 300,000 years ago. But I'm not sure why the, uh, the authors of this study said that uh, modern humans appeared 129,000 years ago. But anyway, once modern humans arrived on the planet about 129,000 years ago, the extinction rates of proboscidean species increased drastically by 17 Fold, the researchers say they found while modeling fossil records with artificial intelligence. Okay, so uh, the future human is now looking at us. So we have five fold increase going back to when we were still barely apes walking out of the trees. 129,000 years ago increased 17-fold, and then, good Lord, uh, 13,000 years ago, uh, yeah, it, it was a comet, please. All right, since the emergence of early humans and modern humans, about 27 proboscidean species have gone extinct. Torsten Hoff, an ecologist at the Universe, University of Freiburg, anyway, and co-author of the study, told ABC News, the model, make sure this isn't my guest, the model considered human interactions, including the arrival of early humans, with the findings pointing 
to human activity, quote, very strongly affecting proboscidean extinctions, according to the study. Hunting of proboscideans was likely one of the main drivers of population declines and eventual extinction. Juan Cantapiedra, an evolutionary paleobiologist at the National Museum of Natural Science and co-author of the paper, said, Records dating back 400,000 years ago show evidence that Neanderthals scarfed on meat and extracted bones from proboscideans, Half said. They hunted other groups of animals, such as carnivores, also. Danielle Silvestro, a biologist, blah, 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 and co-author, told ABC, quote, and these are species that usually would not have predators because they are, well, they were the predators. Um, now, the research also did point to higher temperatures associated with the arrival of early humans. Uh, the declines also coincide with warming phase following strong ice age, but, you know, this is the, uh, what a lot of people are, uh, are saying, this has nothing to do with humans, but, you know, according to the study and backed up by AI, those temperature changes were relatively minor compared to the other factors leading to their extinctions, namely uh, goddamn humans showing up on the scene uh, with their spears and bows and arrows and clubs and uh, traps and all the rest of it. Uh, and, uh, you, you, you know, this, this is my response uh, to these people clim claiming climate change. Uh, even, even with the, the one that happened here uh, most recently, uh, you, you, you know, these climate changes, the, these species had been through a hell of a lot worse swings in climate during their evolution and never went extinct. They have been surviving these uh, relatively mild swings in climates for thousands, if not millions of years. It was humans uh, who put them over the edge. Uh, the findings of the paper indicate a long-lasting, detrimental anthropogenic or human caused effect on biodiversity the researcher said wow do you think so hunting you know flat out killing uh, our fellow earthlings and major disruptions to ecosystems have the potential to in impact species declines in modern times it occurred in 2019 when the bushfires in Australia wiped out billions of animals and decimated koala populations. And now we can, uh, thanks to humans, uh, we can start blaming climate change, which was caused by humans. Human caused climate change and development leading to loss of habitat are among the biggest culprits in causing the decline of certain species, the researchers said. And I agree with Book Hermit on this one. They should have uh, that development leading to loss of habitat is a hell of a lot bigger uh, cause. Uh, of uh, the sixth mass extinction than human caused climate change uh, by orders of magnitude, uh, but that will be changing rapidly. Quote, 
Uh, this is quoting, I already forgot who Silvestro is. Quote, biodiversity today is experiencing a magnitude of change or loss that has not been seen really in the recent past. Close quote. When timber, otherwise known as trees, when trees are cut down, it affects the, fa the fauna, meaning the animals, the fungi, and species ranging from insects to amphibians, he added. Dietary adaptation and flexibility was likely also a driver of speciation, especially near the end of the Neogene period about 3 million years ago, as was geographic distribution. Uh, while fossil records hold clues on how speciation, you know, how animals evolved into different species, and extinction have influenced ecosystem turnover throughout millennia, the impacts proved difficult to model before the emergence of artificial intelligence, the researchers said. The researchers used pre-existing information on 2,118 fossils belonging to 175 proboscidean species that lived from 35 million years ago to 10,000 years ago to feed into their model. Before AI existed, previous modeling attempts only incorporated single predictors such as one environmental change or the acquisition of a single trait which do not reflect the multifaceted nature of evolution, the authors said. There you go. Thank you, AI, for crunching the numbers. Uh, and uh, let's see if, uh, if AI uh, can prove the climate change hypothesis. But uh, I I anyway, guys, it it's humans. You know, come on. It's humans. Always has been, always will be. Until A, there's no more of our fellow earthlings for us to send into oblivion. And then we, it's once we don't have them to eat, the question becomes, who do we eat now? And maybe that will uh, lead to the end of humans. But right now, this human uh, who has evolved into a vacation rental superhost has to uh, get out there and roll out the red carpet to my fellow humans coming to get a taste of nature while they still can on this smoky afternoon and the collapse of everything. My gosh.